how do I know if my baby has suffered an injury at birth? Want to know what I'm getting at here? Stay with me as I share with you this very important information. Hello, I'm Marcus Boston and I am a childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorney practicing law in the state of Maryland and I would like to quickly talk with you today about some really important information and that information deals with how can parents know or how do they get an idea that their child's injury was something that happened during the birthing process. Now before I answer that question I want to jump back and I want to help you understand some key terms here as I get through this video. And I want to also remind you that when we are analyzing a case like this, there are a lot of areas of analysis. But for the purpose of this video today, I'm going to talk about some of the main ones that we see coming in. All right, so for many of the women who call us, they, they generally have a pretty uneventful pregnancy. Everything was going good. There were no problems. They made sure they were, they went to all their prenatal visits. They followed the directions and the instructions from their doctor. I mean, everything was, was pretty good. But what happened is that during the, when the water broke, there was a substance there when the water broke. And that substance is called meconium. Now, meconium is essentially the baby's stool. And when we have meconium coupled with some more other things, such as late deceleration, bradycardia, minimal variability, possibly tachycardia, and the things that I just mentioned, they will be displayed on the electronic fetal heart monitor. But when we have those things going on, coupled with meconium, these things can suggest to doctors and nurses that the baby may no longer be tolerating a vaginal delivery. And if this is the case, if the baby is in distress and is no longer tolerating that vaginal delivery, doctors have to take steps to help the baby out. If some of the other intrauterine resuscitation measures do not work, then doctors have to be looking to move to an emergency C-section to help the baby. If an emergency C-section is not done or it's delayed in some way, then what you can have is an injury to the baby. Namely, if fetal hypoxia is present or hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy is present, then you can have an injury to the child's brain. So we've talked about meconium, we've talked about some issues with the electronic fetal heart monitor. There's another area that I want to quickly touch on that can sometimes alert parents that there may have been problems during the vaginal delivery. And this is when the baby is here. When the baby comes out, the parents may notice that the baby is blue in color. The baby may be suffering from seizures. The baby may need to be resuscitated. The baby may have to be rushed off to the NICU. The baby may have low APGAR scores. All of these things can sometimes tip parents off to the fact that their baby may have suffered an injury at birth. Before I close, I wanna also remind you or let you know too that in some instances, parents will notice that their baby is not meeting certain neonatal milestones. So why have I taken the time today on this hot day? Why have I taken the time to talk with you about this really important information? because if you are watching this video right now, you have these questions. Your baby, something, you, you may be thinking something's not right. Your baby may not be meeting certain neonatal milestones. Maybe the doctors have told you that your baby is dealing with seizures and they're working on these things. Or maybe you have seen this term HIE in the medical records and you have questions about this. Well, if you have these types of questions, this is what I invite you to do. Go ahead and pick up the phone and give me a call. I answer birth injury questions just like yours all the time. You can reach me toll free at 1-833-4-BABY-HELP or you can call me locally at 301-850-4832. If you prefer to go ahead and send me an email first, you can send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I also invite you, if you're just in the information stage, go ahead and visit my website at bostonlawllc.com and we've got a whole host of information there while you're there. But before you leave, make sure that you get a free download of that birth injury book that we have that talks about all of these issues in the state of Maryland. Go ahead and, and get that download of that book before you get out. All right, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I am Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys here at Boston Law Group, LLC. 
and we will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.